So if we are just looking at a typical standard procurement process for the Ministry of Finance. I should have brought up the report, but uh, there's a case study on Royal Malaysian Customs buying too many shoes. Every year they buy shoes. And they continue to buy shoes even though there's an excess stock of shoes by Royal Malaysian Customs. Why is that? How? How is it that something like that can happen? You already got so many shoes, how come you still order more shoes next year? Now one of the problems that happens in this case is very simply because the budget was allocated for. So if it is in the budget, if you don't use it, it's wasted. It's returned to the Ministry of Finance. Every year what they do, they take what was budgeted next year, these are all items, they put in a new number, usually an increased bigger number for the same items that were in the previous budget that was outlined for the ministry and then they add some number to it and then they submit it to the Ministry of Finance and seek approval for that budget and then of course they will add a few more new items or things they want to do and hence the budget ultimately continues to increase every year but by and large the budget normally doesn't differ one year from the previous year because they always use the previous year's budget as a baseline. So if last year I bought 1,000 pairs of shoes, this year there's a shoe item there, how many pairs do I want to buy? Put in a budget for it, put in a number for it, and uh, voila, that's my submission to the Ministry of Finance for the number of shoes. And it's not going to be the work of Ministry of Finance to go and check your stock, how many shoes you still have us before I approve the project. That, that's just not feasible. So what's the solution to that? And this one we are already doing because it is something recognized. It is something we know that creates wastages. It is something we know that creates an inherent structural increase in demand for budget every year. Because you have a baseline, you always ask for more, and you have more projects, more items to buy, it creates an automatic inflation mechanism into your request for budget to the Ministry of Finance. So Ministry of Finance this year, we are starting a new process, we call it the zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting means you start from scratch. You start from scratch, meaning you do not go by the old previous budget structure or whatever that you wanted and then you add a number to it. You start from zero and then you think about what you want to do for next year and then you write down the items. 